opening the season with eight new players, none of whom were household names, Olympiakos Pireos generated zero consideration as a title favourite or even a Final Four contender when the 2011-12 EuroLeague started, not even in the Reds' own locker room. We were in the, in the rebuilding mood uh, this year, you know, so we don't even have in our mind to, to win the EuroLeague. Modest expectations remained as the Reds reached mid-season with as many defeats as victories. But that's precisely when recent additions Joey Dorsey and AC Law found their rhythm along with rookie Kostas Lukas, who capped the first of the team's new trademark, come from behind victories. The team with some newcomers, just they definitely changed the face, changed the basketball playing. Things start to be very, very balanced. It is a very, very rare situation. The next big comeback on the road in game one of the playoffs propelled Olympiakos past Montepaschi Siena and onward to the final four in Istanbul. Game by game, we show the character, we build the character, and uh, we play game by game much, much better. Against favoured FC Barcelona in the semi-final, Olympiakos kept control of a close scoreboard and, when in doubt, put the ball in the hands of Vasilis Spanoulis. Not only the guy for the crucial moment and for the last shots, that he was a real leader of the team and altogether was a real one great, great team. In the championship for the trophy, Olympiakos met mighty Seska Moscow to whom it had lost twice by an average of 19 points during the season. Inside, in our hearts, uh, everybody started to believe that we can do something special. Nothing, however, could have prepared fans for what happened after Olympiakos fell behind to Seska by 19 points with 11 minutes left. I still believe that we can do it, we can succeed. You know, if we play good defence, many games, uh, physically, we was ready to play for, uh, 40 minutes game, and especially the last 5-10 minutes, all team was ready to play 100%. What followed was the greatest comeback in European title game history, with youngsters Slukas and Kostas Papanikolaou sparking the comeback, then handing over the reins to veteran Spanoulis and Printezis for an unbelievable finish to an unforgettable championship season. Honestly to say, in 100 games, maybe opportunity, one to finish like it finished after minus 19, but uh, let's say now, Yes, it is EuroLeague, it is basketball, that everything happened. The game that finished at the last second. It, is, it, it happened. All this thing, how we turn the game, how Siska lose, uh, lost the free throws, how we make the basket. All this thing, uh, we were the underdog, and Siska was the big favorite. And uh, we made something unreal. When Siskauskas lost the second free throw. Something inside me says that, I, I don't know, I feel like I will be the last guy that I will shoot. I will take this out. I don't know how, but I feel it will be like this. But anyway, as, as I said many, many times, I believe that uh, whoever is going to be in my position for sure had to make because uh, everything happened for one reason and uh, this day was our day.